As participants of the Bronx Museum Teen Summer Program, we had the opportunity to interview a variety of people who are involved in the restoration and reopening of the High Bridge. The High Bridge, which has been closed since the 1970s, was built in 1848 to bring water from the old Croton Aqueduct into Manhattan. As well as being an important waterway, the bridge is also the first pedestrian bridge in New York City. The reopening of the bridge will reconnect with the city's rich tradition of pedestrian walkways and will link the communities of Bronx and Manhattan. The High Bridge is an inspiring place. It's really exciting to go there and to see it. And the first time I went there, it was like the world got bigger. What effect do you hope to have on the community when the bridge opens? It's going to be a space for recreation. You go out there and you see the Harlem River, which you can't see from a lot of places. Um, and that feels, it feels like a different place almost. It feels like a part of the Bronx that we've been missing and now we're getting it back. The High Bridge connects to two parks, one on the Bronx side and one on the Manhattan side. The Bronx Park is called High Bridge Park. It's located at um, University Avenue and 170th Street. From Manhattan, it's located within High Bridge Park. Uh, which is a very large park. I think it's um, about 120 acres and it's behind the recreation center and swimming pool at about uh, 173rd Street and Amsterdam Avenue. The High Bridge gives access to community members to that resource um, to be able to bike across um, from the Bronx to Manhattan um, to use that space. Um, it's an open space. It's one of the most unique um, spaces in the city where you can um, be 30 you know, to 100 feet above the Harlem River. Young kids come out into the park and learn science and learn um, about arts and engaging in park spaces. Um, and that by being there, we are making more, so many more resources available to kids that will possibly change their lives um, is the most meaningful thing that I think that I could do at this point. Does anybody know why the High Bridge was built? Uh, it's actually built to bring water into the city. So it's part of the Croton Aqueduct system, uh, which was the first uh, major water supply for the city of New York. So this giant tunnel underground that was built on time and on budget, New York City still is not required to filter most of its water because that system keeps the water clean enough for us to drink, keeps it um, well above the standards required by federal regulations. You may have meant it to be for water, but people use it to get back and forth between the Bronx and Manhattan. We love the hybrid, you can't take it down. Why do you think it is that the hybrid reopening has been delayed? I was around in 2006 when the funding was first uh, you know, announced uh, on Earth Day uh, in 2006, and we were really excited and we thought, wonderful, now the bridge is going to open, and now we're 2014, the end of 2014, when it's finally going to open. So, you know, part of it is it's a complex uh, bridge. It's expensive to maintain something of that uh, structure. It's a landmark. Anything that is going to be modified to it had to be approved. What effect do you hope the opening of the bridge will have on the Business uh, in the neighborhood is excited. A lot of the merchants in the neighborhood are hoping to see increased uh, tr you know, traffic because when the High Bridge was opened, it was one of the key points where tourists would come to visit when it was originally opened. There was actually ferries that came up to drop people off so they could walk across the High Bridge. Youth have been using that bridge for those 40 years that it's closed. Uh, when I go into schools and I say, how many people have walked across the High Bridge? We'll always get about 20 or 30 kids from, from each school that raise their hand because there's a huge pool <laughs> on the other side, the High Bridge Pool. It's one of the third largest uh, public pools in, in New York City. What impact do you think the High Bridge Project will have on the community? The High Bridge, you could just ride your bike right over, be there in five minutes. Um, or walk over 10 minutes. The Manhattan side could walk over to the Bronx to visit their family members. The Bronx side will have access to a pool, which is great. It'll just create more awareness, more imagination for the people, you know. 